<laughs> I'm trying to give a speech, <coughs> but this stubborn cough <coughs> is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. <coughs> Don't talk to me. I hate you. Go away from me. Go. I don't want to see you. You claim to love me, but all you cause me is pains. Hmm, this is my forest and my territory. If you're a human and you love yourself, stay away from my forest. Please, please, I'm sorry for entering your forest. I lost my way. Please. I'm a certified joy giver. <laughs> I don't just smile. I spread happiness like free Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, Blessing generated all those emotional voices using free AI tools. She even generated Pigeon English. Check this out. A beg. I know sabi which kind of AI experiments Blessing they use us do. Every day, na new testing. But as I the reason am, who I be? Na just AI. I don't even get power to vex. <laughs> Miss Blessing, can you now show us the AI tools you use to generate these voices, please? We'll be looking at six different free AI voice generators in today's video, and we'd we'll also be comparing and contrasting them to know which one is best for which type of projects. And I would encourage us not to skip any part of this video because I've noticed some people don't really watch the whole video and they'll drop questions of things I've already said in the video. So the six AI tools we'll be looking at in today's video are Clip Charm, Eleven Labs, Speechma, Love Voice, Open AI FM, Text to Speech, and Google AI Studio. These are the six free AI tools we'll be looking at some of them are not completely free some of them are completely free and unlimited and all these voiceover generators you can assess them with your phone to learn how to assess clip champ on your phone you have to go check out the video i made on how to create african folktale stories using your phone i'll link the video in the description box of this video <laughs> to assess love voice and dts go to your google play store and download it to assess speechma come to your google and type in speechma and then you click on this one here and it will bring you to the platform and Speechma is free and unlimited. Clipchamp is also free and unlimited. TTS free and unlimited. And then for OpenAI FM, you would have to click OpenAI FM on Google and then choose this one. And when you come here, click on Start Converting for free. And then close this thing that pops up here and you are in the platform. It's as simple as that. For 11 laps, you'd have to just come to your Google and do the same thing. Just type in 11 labs and then click on this one here you have to sign up with an email account before you can get access to 11 labs because it's free to some extent but it's not completely free they give you 10,000 credits every month so i'll be starting with google ai studio in fact we'll be using google ai studio mainly in this video and we'll be comparing it with other voiceovers so you come to your google and type in google ai studio then you click on this first one and it will bring you to this page and all you need to do is just to sign up click on this place that says sign up and get started and after signing up this is what the interface looks like if i should zoom this in and come up to this place you will see try nano banana url context tool native speech generation leave audio to whatever but what we are concerned about is this native speech generation so you click on it if you come to this over to this side you will see single speaker audio multiple speaker audio so we'll be starting with the multi speaker audio this multi speaker audio is when you have more than one speaker Let's say you want to record a podcast or you want to record something that involves a conversation and it's not just one speaker. This is when you choose this multi-speaker audio. Now, I'll go to where I type my script and copy it. Then I'll come back to this place. Under this speaker one, I will highlight everything here, delete it, and then paste in my own script. So what I'll be doing now is I'll just be copying the one after the other. Like this place that says, yes, I can't. I want it to be the second speaker that will say this. So I'll just copy it come to this speaker too and then highlight everything that was there before delete it and then put in my yes i can't okay so i'll now click on add dialogue because the conversation is not just one of thing it is a continuing conversation so if you just click on this add dialogue now it will open another place for you can see speaker one so i will copy the third one and then come and paste it here but can you cook so that's it third one that is the third thing the speaker one will say i will still go back copy um no that's the what the speaker one will respond i don't know if you guys are following i also click on add dialogue and then put it here um no can you see so this is what i will keep doing just keep clicking on add dialogue and then i'll keep arranging it under speaker one speaker two speaker one speaker last 
so after i finished doing my copy and my pasting and i've arranged everything the way i want the dialogue to be i'll now come back to this place that there is voice setting you can see speaker one i will pick speaker one a female voice because i want the first speaker to be a female and then for under speaker two i will pick the male voice because i want the second speaker to be a male and then after that i will now come here see this place that said style instruction i'll now edit it to read aloud in an argumentative tone because i want it to be a kind of an argumentative conversation so i'll now come over to this place and then i'll click on run and then wait for it to generate the voices for us now it has generated the voice for us let me play it for us wait wait so you said you can't marry a girl that doesn't know how to cook yes i can't but can you cook um no <laughs> so you don't even know how to fry egg but you want a wife that's a chef <laughs> can you guys see this this is interesting in fact i even made a video podcast out of this let me play the video for you guys wait wait so you said you can't marry a girl that doesn't know how to cook yes i can't but can you cook um no <laughs> so you don't even know how to fry egg but you want a wife that's a chef make it make sense no no i disagree are you trying to tell me a man must know how to cook before he marries please a man can marry whoever he wants, cooking or no cooking. Can you see that? You guys, this is interesting. Now, I tried other voiceover generators and they don't have this type of style. The only voiceover generator that have this type of conversation style is 11 Labs. So if you want to use this in 11 Labs, it has to be the V3 Enhanced Alpha. So I will now type in my script. I've typed in the first one that I want the first speaker to say. But the voice, I think this column is a guy. So I will change it to a lady's voice by clicking on it let me choose jessica so i'll add add speaker so i'll go and copy the second script and paste it here so i'll change the speaker also to a male voice because now i want the person responding to be a male just like we did in the first one so let's use liam Life isn't about so we have jessica and liam so i'll add the third one which is by jessica so i've typed in all my script conversations so after that i'll just go ahead and click on generate speech so now it has generated the voice for us wait wait so you said you can't marry a girl that doesn't know how to cook? Yes, I can't. Okay, but can you cook? Um, no. <laughs> so you don't even know how to fry egg, but you want a wife that's a chef. Really? No, no, I disagree. Please, a man can marry whoever he wants, cooking or no cooking. This is interesting. Now we'll go to the next one. So when I click on the single speaker audio, and then by the way, when using this Google AI Studio, ensure that this desktop site is turned on so that you can get the best out of it, all right? Now, when you click on this single speaker audio, you can come over to this side here. If you click on it, it will bring out the different voices that are available here. So there are different voices. Just play around with them and see the one that you like best. So the first voice we are going to generate is a coughing voiceover. So I'll just click on this place that there is text. So I'll just paste it here. Now you guys should take note of how I put in my text. You can see coughing in bracket. I'm trying to give a speech in another bracket, coughs. But this stubborn cough in another bracket, coughs harder. It's acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. In bracket, continues coughing. Then I'll come down to this place and then I'll click on run. Then I'll wait for it to generate the voice. Now the voice is generated. I'm <coughs> trying to give a speech. <coughs> But this stubborn cough <coughs> is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. <coughs> Can you guys hear that? This is so good. And this Google AI Studio is free. But I've been using it to do a lot of things. But let's continue. So all you need to do is click on these three dots down here and then click on download and it will download into your device or your phone. All right, now we are going to go to other voiceover generators to see how they will interpret this my script and see if they would cough. All right, so we'll be trying out Clip Champ. Let's see what it will sound like. So I've pasted my script now. I'll go ahead and click on save. Let it generate the voiceover for us. It has generated it. Okay, let's play it. Coughing. I'm trying to give a speech. Coughs. But this stubborn cough, coughs harder, is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me continues coughing did you hear that it was not able to cough now let's go to speech mat this is speech mat and i'll have to put my text this place before you can generate audio with speech mat you have to put in this text here under this place so i'll just go ahead and type in my text 26537 so it has generated its voice let's go ahead and play it coughing i'm trying to give a speech coughs but this stubborn cough 
coughs harder, is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. Continues coughing. So speech mark could not cough. You guys, speech mark could not cough. Let's go to love voice and see. So I'll come here and paste my script. You can choose the English you want and then you choose Jenny female voice, but it doesn't really matter. We can just go ahead with what is already here. So I'll just click on generate. So once you click on generate, it will bring out this thing to verify that you are human. Just click on it to verify that you are human. And then you now wait for it to generate. Coughing. I'm trying to give a speech. Coughs. But this stubborn cough. Coughs harder. Is wow. Can you guys see this? So let's check open AI FM. So I'll have to scroll up. I'll paste my script here. And then I'll go up and I'll click on play. I'm trying to give a speech, but this stubborn cough uh, is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. So OpenAI did not even mention the coughing at all. It just skipped all the things in brackets entirely and it didn't cough. Okay, now let's try 11 laps. <coughs> I'm trying to give a speech, <coughs> but this stubborn cough <coughs> is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. <coughs> 11 laughs is good, but it's limited, remember. <laughs> and finally, let's try text to speech. That's TTS. So I'll just click on enter text here and then I'll paste my script. I'll just go ahead and click on this loudspeaker sign here and wait for it to generate. I'm trying to give a speech. Coughs with this stubborn cough. Coughs harder is acting like it's the one giving the speech instead of me. Continues coughing. Hmm. What do you guys think? You guys should be the judge of this one. So you can see that the only ones that actually coughed was Google AI Studio and 11 Labs. And even when I went ahead and tried out the other ones like crying, laughing, groaning, and all the other emotional sounds in Google AI Studio and other voiceover generator, it was also only Google AI Studio that gave me those emotional sounds. So I'll go ahead and generate all the other voiceover with emotions in Google AI Studio so that you guys will get to see what I'm talking about. But I won't generate it in all the other voiceovers because it's obvious that they don't actually generate emotion. So I'm pasting my script here and this is what I typed in my speech. Hmm, this is my forest and my territory. If you are a human and you love yourself, stay away from my forest. Hmm. And then I'll go ahead and click on run and let's see what happens, okay? Hmm, this is my forest and my territory. If you're a human and you love yourself, stay away from my forest. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see this? This is amazing. And of course, this was what I used to generate the first, um, you know, intro video that you guys watched. Maybe I should play it again for you guys to see. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is my forest and my territory. If you're a human and you love yourself, stay away from my forest. Yeah, you can see that this is making sense. And when you are now making your 3D animated videos and you're generating all these voices and making your character say all these voices, it sounds so real. Now let's generate the girl's response. So this is what I typed for the girl, breathing heavily in brackets. Please, breathe heavily in another bracket. Please, I'm sorry for entering your forest. I lost my way, please. And I put in bracket, continues breathing heavily. So I'll go ahead and click on run. Let's see what it will generate. Please, please, I'm sorry for entering your forest. I lost my way, please. Did you guys see that? <laughs> this is good. Now let's generate the voiceover for crying. So this is the prompt I'm typing in for crying. Everything is still in brackets whenever I want the character to cry. Look, I can cry very well for you. If you want me to cry right now, watch me. <laughs> See, I told you I can cry, but no, you didn't believe me. And now you're begging me to stop? No, I will not stop. In fact, <laughs> Can you guys see this? Now, let's generate Pigeon English. So, I've also pasted my Pigeon English here. Very soon, it go hard you to sabi who be AI and who be real human. Because we AI, they do everything where we not humans, they do. Hmm. We feel shout. We feel cry. We feel cough. 
and we feel even laugh <laughs> can you see this this is good and let me tell you the one that even shocked me the most is that this google ai studio can even speak in different languages so i mean in local nigerian languages like Igbo, Hausa, yoruba let me go ahead and type in a script that has Igbo language in it and then you will see this ai generate the language for you <laughs> now look at what i typed in here we teach you how to speak Igbo language here let's play it and see how it will interpret this we teach you how to speak Igbo language here <laughs> you guys, you can generate Igbo voiceovers with this. In fact, I even made a video of it. Let me play the video for you guys to see. We teach you how to speak Igbo language here. Aniga kuzirigi asusu Igbo. Can you see this? You guys, this is so good. Let me type in Aosa and see how it will translate it. Do you know that I love you so much? If you're an Aosa person, Please tell us in the comment section. Rate it from 1 to 10. Let's see how well it did. But I think it did fairly well, right? <laughs> if you are Yoruba or Hausa or any language, try typing in your own local languages into it and see how it would interpret it and see if it would speak it well for you. Okay, and the amazing thing about this is that this Google AI Studio is actually completely free. So now that it is still free, take advantage of it and use it for your projects as many as you want to use it for. Because something that is this amazing, I don't know if it will continue being free for a long time, okay? So the next thing we'll be trying out is narration speech. So I want us to use the script I used as an example in how to create African folktale stories. So it had generated the voice, let's play it and see. Rain was falling hard from the sky. Big, heavy drops. The road was wet. The sky was dark. And little Anna, just 10 years old, was walking slowly. She was carrying a heavy tray of bananas on her head. Her clothes were soaked. Her feet were cold. Can you guys hear that? Let's try out clip chunk. Rain was falling hard from the sky. Big, heavy drops. The road was wet. The sky was dark. And little Anna, just 10 years old, was walking slowly. She was carrying a heavy tray of bananas on her head. Her clothes were soaked. Now this is Clip Champ, and I think I prefer Clip Champ's narration to Google AI Studio's narration. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Let's go to the next one. Now this is Love Voice. Rain was falling hard from the sky. Big, heavy drops. The road was wet. The sky was dark. And little Anna, just 10 years old, was walking slowly. She was carrying a heavy tray of bananas on her head. Hmm. What do you guys think? Now let's listen to speech man. Rain was falling hard from the sky. Big, heavy drops. The road was wet. The sky was dark. And little Anna, just 10 years old, was walking slowly. She was carrying a heavy tray of bananas on her head. Her speech man is not bad. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. <laughs> let's go to Open AI FM. Let's listen to it. Rain was falling hard from the sky. Big, heavy drops. The road was wet. The sky was dark. And little Anna, just 10 years old, was walking slowly. This Open AI FM is actually another one that is very close to Google AI Studio. When it comes to putting emotions in a script, let's listen to text to speech. Rain was falling hard from the sky. Big, heavy drops. The road was wet. The sky was dark. And little Anna, just 10 years old, was walking slowly. She was carrying a heavy tray of bananas on her head. Um, This is text to speech. What do you guys think? It's not bad, honestly. So please, out of all these voices, tell me which one is your favorite when it comes to narration, especially if you have African folktale stories. I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with someone that needs to see this. Um, please. Check out one of these videos I have on the screen here. I'm sure you'd also find one of them helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!